Dear friends, welcome back. The previous sessions all discussed about the fundamentals and the core concepts even we have started teaching with respect to data mining. So now it's going to be a very important topic how to normalize and to detect outliers in the rapid miner. So very important topic wherever you go in terms of interview or in terms of exams, this topic would be there. So we are going to learn this with an example and let's understand the picture clearly. Well, before we go depth into it, we'll first understand what exactly is outlier. I've got 20 data entries. Out of that, I've got three data entries or two data entries which are totally not related. For example, I'm having a sheet where I have the data entries of the marks obtained in terms of percentage by students. There are 18 entries which are below 100 and there are two entries which are minus 25, minus 35, something like this. So these two data entries are totally different from the rest of the data entries and they can be treated as outliers. Also, there are cases where these entries could be 225, 300, 800 percentage like that. It could not be possible in that way and that's also treated as outlier. Let's take a simple example of credit cards. I have a credit card. I spend only this much every month. Suddenly, one month I could see that the spending has gone very high. That's an outlier. So, the bank can now look into it and they can identify if there is an attempt of fraud or anything related to that credit card and this would be very helpful for the analysis. That's it. Outliers are nothing but the data which is uh, which is in the range which is not in control, which is not in the expectation level and they are different. They are called outliers. And well, we need to analyze and understand how exactly things work with the demo. Well, we are again dependent on the Titanic data set and we are going to use the same thing and I am going to explain you the complete demo with the rapid miner as usual. The Titanic data set is well explored already and we have seen enough of it. But there are a lot of outliers which are available, which are seen very clearly in the Titanic data set and we are going to see how exactly we can normalize that and then how do we detect the outliers and how do we filter it. This is a process and this process is very interesting for you to understand and you can try it out in your machine as well. Well, the Titanic data set is very, very interesting. It has got a lot of data and we can explore all of them very clearly and that's what I am going to do right now. You can see that I am taking the data from the deposit repository and Titanic is highlighted there. We will analyze and understand how exactly the outliers can be visually seen. I am going to show you that and we will see how exactly it can be seen. So let's first we are going to drag and drop the Titanic data into the process screen and after that we can go ahead to the next steps where we will start looking into the attributes, we will normalize it, we will detect the outliers and then we will go with filtration option. Right. Let's double click the Titanic data set and you can see that there are a lot of options here, a lot of attributes here and there are outliers in each of these almost. So can we take up an example for that? You can see that in age there is 0.917. That's a definite outlier. So if you keep scrolling that, you will see a lot of outliers in the age itself. Similarly, when you go to the rest of the things like cabin numbers, you have got the outliers which are seen as well. So there is outlier options, there are outliers which are available throughout this data set and that's going to actually destabilize the data set. In Lifeboat, there is a number called as D. So it's, it's an outlier. So it's not something which is relevant to the current data that we are handling and hence this data set, not only this, any data set may have outliers and it's our responsibility to normalize it and then to definitely properly handle it and to remove it. So we are going to do that and that's what is the process. You can see that the entire data set is filled with lot of outliers. Well, how do we handle it? We have a method, we have technique to do that. And that's what I'm going to teach you right now. We will get back to the design and we will add contents over there and that will be helpful for us to go ahead. Let's first drag and drop the Titanic. The Titanic is going to come and flow in the process. Now, once it is done, I need to now go ahead with connecting to the next module, which is nothing but the select attributes. But before that, you can keep the pointer over that area so that you can understand and see what are all the components, what are all the contents, what are the attributes of this particular data set. And I have already explained you this couple of times. And you can use F3 to focus it better. Well, it's time for us to go ahead and select the attributes and type the select attribute operator and I'm going to pull it out right now. And once connected only, we can do things as ever. So I have connected it right now. Double click it. And then we are going to go ahead with filtering options. And I'm going to go with subset option. And I can select the attributes, which I think there are a lot of outliers available. Age, cabin, and lifeboat are the options that I'm picking. 
and I have selected that and I'm moving. If you want more, you can check that as well. But for now, I'm moving only five of them. Name and ticket numbers are also included. So once it is done, I have already connected. So I can move to the next level where we need to go ahead and normalize. Normalize is nothing but bringing everything in line with bringing the outlay data in line with the rest of the data. I'm going to normalize means I'm going to make it normal and it's suitable for the operation. So that's called normalizing. So in image processing, this is a very common term. So I can normalize an image with respect to pixel values and it's, it's different here slightly. That's it. So now I have brought in the normalizing option here and you can drag and drop it. And when you go ahead with normalization option, we have multiple types of normalization supported and you can select the corresponding filter type as whatever you want but i keep it as default one and there are types of normalization z transformation and multiple options available but i'm not going to complicate it i am staying with the z transformation itself and i am retaining it if you want to go ahead with the further things you can do that as well now what's the next step i'm going to detect the outlayer and outlayers are very important to be detected and this is calculated based on the distance it is absolutely based on Euclidean distance that we are going to calculate it. And once you double click it, you can see the parameters. The number of neighbors can be set and you can see that I can fill the number of neighbor values. I can specify the number of outlays. How many number of outlays do you want to really get after this process? So that's what is 10. It can be 10, 20. I'll show you that as well over a period of time. And then the distance function. There are multiple options available. As I told you, I'm going to use Euclidean function. You can go with cosine function. You can go with inverter, inverter cosine function. It can be anything but easiest one and the most prominent, most used one is Euclidean distance and I go with it. So once it is done, I can right away go ahead with connecting it to the result and I can see what exactly is the output that I'm getting in between. So once I run it, you can see that I'm running it. Once I run it, it takes a little bit of time. And for the first time, I think you could see that the uh, process is shown there. Now you can see that we are getting the first 10 as the outlayers and it's true. First 10 because I have given 10 as the number as outlayer first 10 as outlayer and you can make it 20 you can make it 30 as much as you want and we have chosen the age name ticket number cabin lifeboat and the values which the system feels that they are all outlayers based on analysis based on the distance calculation we pull it out and we present it here the top 10 values which are outlays are presented and you can see that first to 10th are made as true and rest all become false well so can i make the change sir i need 20 outlays i need 30 outlays is it possible yes before that please go through the entire data set where you can see that it is 1309 entries that we have checked out of which top 10 i mean the 10 outlays are selected now if if i want the number of outlays to be 20 i can as well do that and that's what i'm doing right now and once you do that you could see that it takes a little bit of time again and based on your system speed you could get it a little faster and now we get it as 20. You could see that right there in front of you. And now it is 20 outlayers selected for the age, name, ticket number, cable, and cabin and the lifeboat. That's it. So that's what we have done right now. Now is it complete? We can make it 20, 30 and we can go ahead with that. Now is it complete? No, there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to go ahead with the filtering option. What's it? I'm going to use filter examples. I have used this already some time back and I'm going to use the same thing but for a different cause right now. How do we do it? I drag and drop the filter. Let me connect it and we have the game starts here. Now, once you click it, you will get, we will see that right now, I'm going to uh, show you that clearly. Now, inside that filter examples option, we have got something to be seen very clearly, double click it. So once you do that, the outlayer equals false. That's the filter that I have set and you can have other options as well. Now, when you run it, it, it goes ahead, it keeps running and it takes a little bit of time for you to run and now we have filtered it and we have got the output. So you can see that here, the filtered options are presented in front of you and 1289 out of 1289 is analyzed and filtered. That's what is the exact term that I need to use and you can go here and now there is something called as breakpoint that you can have. We can have breakpoint after, a breakpoint before and I'm going to use that option right now, breakpoint after and once you do that you see that we can also enable the breakpoint features which are very important and you could see that right there in the top the pass and the run option is enabled and now we have got the results right in front of you so this breakpoint feature will help you in analyzing while the process is on you can keep the breakpoint 
after before and you can get it so you, uh, you are getting the results filtered results in front of you on the screen and also this is while running we get it and you could see that the uh, option for running it and enabling it is available earlier it was not that it is now pass and run so that's what we have done so these are all the options that are available so what we have done very simple we have used a simple data set we understood that outlays is a problem then we uh, went ahead with the normalization then we used the detect outlier option and we also used filter examples now breakpoint is also explained to you as i have done just now you can keep the breakpoint before or breakpoint after as per your wish and overall if you see this is a very simple stuff that we have done where we could use these options and you can remove all the breakpoints like what i have done right now and uh, overall if you see what we have done we have taken the data set we selected the attributes we normalized it we detect the outliers we used filter examples and finally what we have got in front of us is the result as per our wish and we used Euclidean distance as the parameters and you can use anything else as well and you can try. That's it. Thank you very much for following the channel and the content. If you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.